Hello, this is Nick Lego Stava going to be reviewing the Lego Batman Joker Steamroller. And it is 486 pieces, cost $50. And it has uh, five minifigures. They're really cool. And uh, yeah, so I'll get started by showing you the minifigures. Okay, I'll start off with Damian Wayne Robin since we've never had Damian Wayne Robin. Well, we haven't had Batgirl either. So, whatever, I just wanted to start out with him. And uh, this is what he looks like compared to the one I made. Mine has the longer legs, which I'm probably going to put longer legs on him because I don't like the short legs. Because they don't move. But I know he's supposed to be shorter than Batman, so I don't know. I'll work something out. But he also comes with the Robin staff, which is just this piece. And yeah, I like the new printing on there, the black and the green. This is some nice colors. And Damian Wayne died in the newer comics. Uh, I'm kind of mad that they did because why would Batman let his own son die? It's kind of stupid. I don't know, I'm also going to put a black cape over it since he has like a hood on um, his cape too. And he has a double sided head. He has the angry face and the scared one. And he does have double printing, which I'll uh, show you that. That's what the back looks like. It's cool. Yeah, they did a good job on this figure. I just wish that they'd come out with like a medium sized leg. I mean, they make a bunch of new pieces, but they can't make a medium sized leg. It's pretty stupid. But whatever. Here's Batgirl. We've never had a Batgirl ever. Only in the video games. And they were always like, haha, little stupids. You aren't going to get one. You can just play it in the video game. But they did a pretty decent job on this Batgirl. I like the hair piece. It's really cool how they have the hair hanging out the back and it's not just a Batman helmet and they weren't lazy. But that's not like rubber plastic, it's actually plastic plastic. And it's pretty cool. Mine has like a little, oh no it doesn't, it was just a little fur piece on there. But yeah, it's cool, it's got the gold and purple and black. And yeah, it's pretty nice gold hands. She comes with a battering. This set comes with four batterings. And I'll show you the other Oops. She has a man face and a happier face. Double back burning. That's what that looks like. The belt goes around like most back burning. Yeah. It's good that they incorporate that. But she turned out as a good figure. And Batman. We've gotten about 80,000 of this Batman. I wish they'd make a new one like the actual... Like the Batman that's supposed to be with Damian Wayne, which is not this Batman. But you get another Batarang. And it does come with two other Batarangs, too. So, yeah. You don't know what he looks like. He has this regular back printing. Nothing special. And then the double-sided Batman face with him smiling and blah, blah, blah. And then this neat goon. He's pretty cool looking. He has a crowbar, which we've seen a lot. And on the back, it says the deconstruction of that. I don't know why they crossed out the CO, because it's just destruction. Deconstruction would probably be better, I don't know. And then the Joker, it looks pretty nice. And he's got the painted on there, like Arkham City looking Joker goons. It's pretty good. And here is the Joker. He does come with a bang gun, and it's not the same bang gun as we've got in 2006 and 8. Here's what that one looks like. It's different. And then this is what the older Joker looked like. But yes. The bang gun, I'm glad that they have that now. Because now I have three of the bang guns, which is nice. And uh, it does not have double printing on the head because he's wearing this hat. And he does have back printing. This is a different Joker costume than this one, as you can see. I like this one. It's pretty nice. I like the hat. It's purple. And yeah, those are all the minifigures, so I'll start out with the bat vehicle now. Here's this really weird bat hover vehicle slash bat wing thing. It's kind of a weird vehicle. I wish that they made like something for Robin, like maybe a Robin plane or something. I know he's only like eight, but still, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. I like it more than I thought because you can, there's a thing on the bottom that you can pull back and then the wings fly out. Or you could push the front, which is harder to do. But it's supposed to like catch the Joker and like snap him in half and kill him. And yeah. And the flick fire missiles on there, you all know how those work. We've been getting them in pretty much every set since 2008 and 9. And yeah. And the cockpit opens. You got the regular sticker deal 
or not sticker. Well, that's a sticker, but this is printed. It's the gear thing that we've had always. There's the other two batterings. I just put them in there. Batman can sit in there. It's only one seater. And yeah, it's pretty neat. I liked it better than I thought. It's actually bigger than I thought. And then the Joker Steamroller, which I really like. It's pretty nice, except I dropped it and it like exploded and died. And I had to rebuild it. I don't know if it's 100% exactly how it's supposed to be. It, I'm pretty sure it is, but I dropped it like right before I did this review. But these aren't flick fires, they're lazy. And they just made them these like old style flick fire missiles. And I don't really like that they did that. I wish they were regular ones because those do fall out a lot. But I'm glad that that's printed and you get two of them. They're like the same one that was in the Joker helicopter thing. It's pretty cool. I like that nuke looking piece. And here's the steamroller. It has that. You can run people over. And it does turn side to side. And it doesn't like just freely turn. You have to click it. But yeah, it's good. I like the smile on there and these mirrors are supposed to be the eyes. It's funny. It's something the Joker would drive. And then these look like umbrellas to me. They're probably going to use that in umbrellas. And then the back, they got a motor in there. I thought, I really think that turned out like a good vehicle for the Joker. And yeah, I'll show you the extra pieces too. Here's the uh, extra pieces. This, I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be extra, but... I don't know. It didn't say in the instructions anywhere to put it anywhere, so... <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird. And right here, I'm not sure where a piece goes. Like, this gray piece right here. That's an extra piece, too. I just put it there. But yeah, all in all, it's a pretty decent set. I wish it was a little bit cheaper. I mean, people are pretty, basically just getting this for the minifigures. But if you bought all of them separately, you'd probably be, end up paying a lot more. So you might as well just get the set. It does come with a comic book and two manuals. Comic book is all the blah, blah, blah. I'm not even going to look through that poop. But there's like the last three something waves of Batman. And manual one builds the Joker's steamroller. And then number two builds the Batwing thing. But it's a really good set. I like this set. I would definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah. Rate, well not rate, I don't even think they have it anymore. Comment, subscribe, like, watch other videos. Uh, play, or friend or follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And uh, yeah.